Capitol. Hello. Welcome to Capitol Records. I've just finished my string session, so I'm going to show you some clips. But in the meantime, uh, we are outside Studio A, and that's where Barbara Streisand and Diana Krall are working. And I was in Studio B with Paul Buckmaster. It was amazing. Amazing. So, Mr. Nat King Cole, Mr. Sinatra, these are all such icons, Mr. Dean, Miss Garland, within these walls, so much has happened, so I'm really, really excited to be working here. So anyway, So we're inside Studio B, that's Walter and me, I'm meeting Paul for the first time, and that's Susie in the front who manages the orchestra and the film crew. So meet Paul Buckmaster, he's a living legend, string arranger, he's been around forever, he's credited with uh, back the choir that backed the Rolling Stones. You can't always get what you want. And he won a Grammy for Drops of Jupiter by Train, Celine, Stevie Nicks, you name it, he's done it, he's the best. What album is this? Is this the final? This is at the end. Yeah, this is one of the last things we're doing. And then they'll comp the strings, and then I might punch like a vocal or two here or there, but then we're done. How does it feel to be done? <laughs> Weird. I'm ready to be done. How long, is it? How long was the whole? We've been doing this for, I don't know, between six and eight months probably. Long time. And I wrote the songs over the last couple years, so in general it feels like I've been making this record for three years. And last year at this time I was saying, I can't wait to just make a start a record, and now I'm saying I can't wait to start the tour, and I can't wait to start promoting the record, and so I'm ready to move on. But it's been, it's been amazing, but it's a lot of work. So that's the engineer on the left, to the right is Walter Afanasyev, Paul Bachmaster, then there's me. So what's going on is that Paul does one run through with the orchestra where they're just sight reading off the charts that we're looking at. Then Walter and I take notes on what we like, what we um, don't like, which rarely happens. Paul comes in, we give him our notes, he takes those notes back to the orchestra, they record the whole song, and then um, that's what you end up hearing on the record after they comp it. The guy over my shoulder is Jay Landers, my A&R who helps craft my record. So here's me listening to the strings in context. <laughs> production, I don't know, that's to be seen. Sound of Silence is pretty huge, which we'll do in a little bit. But. So if you're getting a little claustrophobic in the control room, you can go up to the artist lounge, which is where me and Tyler, my engineer, uh, are hanging out. And this is what it looks like from above. And right behind that gray wall to the left is Barbara Streisand recording. And I peed myself. And I saw her when she went pee. What? 
And by that, I mean she walked past me in this hallway when she was going to the bathroom. And that was enough to make me pee. So there was pee. Project that, uh, yes, yes. Yes. So, so, here, here. so sad. To, but the good thing is that we're going to immediately start the next album. Which Fabulous. Is really good day after tomorrow. Really? So. <laughs> day after tomorrow. <laughs> so after a long day and some champagne, that's Jay Landers, me, Paul Buckmaster, and Walt Ture, and a big-ass mic stand to get in the way. It was just a, a dream come true to sing in Capitol uh, with Paul Buckmaster's name on my music to sing right next to Barbara Streisand and within the walls of Frank Sinatra and the, the legends that have recorded a capital. It was amazing. Thanks, man fans. Stay tuned. I'm going to Sundance tomorrow.